If you're following Depp and Heard and you have been, you might know this article here is getting around the net. Everyone's covering it. It's called Aquaman 2 Flooded with Drama, Jason Momoa Allegedly Drunk on Set, Amber Heard Scenes Cut, Elon Musk Letter to Warner Bros. and more. First of all, I gotta say, is there anyone coming out saying Momoa was drunk on set? They said allegedly, I guess somebody, but somebody neutral, someone we can trust? Seems random to me, but all right. As far as Elon Musk writing a letter to Warner Bros, supposedly it's a scorched earth, serious letter, how she's got to be an Aquaman too. I don't quite make the connection. I know Elon's got a lot of power. He's got a lot of money, but I just don't make the direct connection. Now he can say to Warner Bros, she better be in that movie. But all right, let's see what they got to say. By the way, this article here is from Variety. They're usually on Amber's side. Didn't see a date. It's pretty recent, though. These words are getting choppy. On the same day in mid-September that Warner Bros. dropped the trailer for its $215 million Aquaman 2 embarrassing documents from the Depp vs. Amber Heard defamation trial surfaced on Reddit, creating a new headache for the studio behind the film. Oh, boo-hoo. Sorry for them. By the way, that's a lot of money. I thought it was pretty expensive, 175, maybe 200 million tops, but that's a lot. They might not get it back. I'd guess they'll probably get it back though. Time will tell. Now, they go into some things here that are a throwback to a lot of people that we've covered on this channel and other channels you probably know. They say that the unsealed documents were released and in them contain some writings from Amber's therapist notes. They repeat what we heard a couple of weeks ago that Amber blames Jason Momoa and James Wan for bad treatment on set. Of course, whoever it is in Amber's life, they've got to take blame if there's someone who's got some level of authority and power, it seems. It couldn't be anything she was doing it was Johnny, it was James Wan, it was Jason Momoa, it was Johnny's fans, it was social media, it was the internet, it was Australia, it was the dogs. Okay, well, I guess all these forces are working against her. A rep from Momoa said that he acted professional all the time and wasn't drunk. I don't know much about him, but I haven't heard anything anywhere else about anything like that. So it's kind of at a left field. One of the quotes was, Jason works his ass off, likes to have a beer once in a while like everyone, but doesn't show up drunk to set. Yeah, come to think of it, I have seen pictures of him getting, you know, probably a little tipsy, but it was from what appeared to be after the filming. At diners afterward. In the changing room, probably afterward. Things like that. They also state, he wasn't dressed like Johnny Depp, which people claimed. They say Amber's lawyers fought the release of the therapy notes, which I don't blame them. So I will say it's not something she put out there for the public. There is that. It was private, so that's a fact. But even so, in her mind, she was blaming everyone. Apparently, she said James Wan raised his voice at her. And last I checked, he's the director, he's pretty much her boss. Maybe she did something wrong. Maybe she just wasn't getting the lines out right and he raised his voice. He's got authority in the set. You can raise your voice at people in a business situation when you're paying them. I think she got at least over a million. So, what does that even mean? Man, you know, when I was growing up or college years or before these modern times with a message, like just raising your voice at someone wasn't even something to mention. People raise their voices. Am I going crazy here or isn't that correct? They say Juan declined to comment, which is fine. I agree. Why would he comment? It seems like they're kind of complaining that Heard was nearly fired. Well, that's not even good enough. She shouldn't be in the movie. She was actually proved to have defamed Johnny. He's out of two movies. 
and probably many more missed opportunities. So even if she got kicked out of one, we wouldn't even be at even Steven. We'd be at one more to go. And then kind of even Steven, but not even really, because Johnny was the stars of those movies. Excuse me. Johnny was the star of those movies. Got to get the plurals right. It's a real long article, by the way. They give a bunch of details I'm not super interested in because I want to get to Musk. Here it is. Ultimately, the studio never pulled the trigger on firing Heard because of her former boyfriend, Elon Musk, had one of his litigators send a scorched earth letter to Warner Bros threatening to burn the house down if the actress wasn't brought back for a sequel, says a source familiar with the behind the scenes battle. Of course, a source. Just a source. Take their word for it. Don't worry. It's true. Warner Bros. caved and moved forward with Heard. Musk did not respond to a request for comment. Of course not. Why would he? What's he going to say? No, I didn't do that. Would he say if he did? Do they have a copy of the letter? Does anybody? Should I just take Variety's word for it? I'm not going to. It could be. Yes. Maybe Amber has some videotape someplace of Elon doing some private things behind doors, excuse me again, behind closed doors with people or something like that. It's not impossible. But even if so, I don't think she can control him like a puppet and just make him do anything she wants. I even personally think he probably called her bluff a few times if she threatened to put it out there or whatever. Because, I don't know, Musk isn't like this super private guy. He tweets all the time. He says what he's thinking politically. Yeah, he probably doesn't want, like, revealing pics out there. But I don't know. I've just got this gut feeling that he'd call her bluff on it anyway, especially at this point. If not, what's he going to do? Live with it his entire life till he dies? You know, it would have to be one really crazy piece of video or something to make someone go to their grave with it. I mean, think about it. Things get out there about people. Yeah, things stay out there, but generally, things kind of fade away. It's not like if she released something like 15 years from now, people would still be going, ha ha, look what Amber showed about you. You know, here's the size of your little Elon. Ha ha ha. People forget you know, pretty quick. They mentioned Aquaman 1 did 1.1 billion. Okay. People like to mention that. They mentioned the reshoots, which is another thing, obviously, not a great thing for that movie. They also say it has lame duck trappings, whatever that means. And in the end, they talk some stuff about the DC Universe, the storyline, things I don't get into so much because I don't know so much about it. But I guess good on them for some detail. So once again, the main things in the headline weren't really what they talked about. They had about a paragraph about Musk out of, what was it there, five or six pages combined or something? Heard scenes cut. I guess they mentioned it, but there's not much to say about that. And also about Momoa, okay, maybe two paragraphs or something. So really, there's nothing incredibly new that they could put forward with evidence. They do correctly state, yeah, flooded with drama. Okay. Anyway... Let me know what you think down below. Obviously, there's a big elephant in the world, in the room, you could say. I don't talk about politics on this channel or things like that. But having said that, it's going to affect my attitude a little bit on how I think about these things, about the proof behind them, about the evidence and the importance and things like that. Let me know what you think in the comments, doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that pop culture. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.